come to lie onto your mat with the soles of the feet together, the knees falling to the sides. Hold the opposite elbow above your head and let your arms relax towards the floor. Start to take your breath a bit deeper. Breathing all the way to the lower belly, to the lower rib cage, and to the chest. With every exhalation, relax your body a bit more. And release your arms and your legs. Hug your knees into your chest and start to make circles. Massaging the sacrum. And with each rotation, make the circles a bit bigger. And rotate in the opposite direction. Big circles that become smaller again. Until eventually they stop in the center. On exhalation, bring your nose toward your knees. Inhale, drop your head back to the floor. Exhale, nose to knees. Inhale, head back to the floor. Repeating this on the rhythm of your own breath. And keep on holding your right knee, extend your left leg, and take your nose toward your knee again. Keep on breathing. Exhale, release. And let your right knee drop over your body all the way to the left. Take your right arm down to the mat into a twist. Coming back to the center, going to the other side. Hug your left knee into your chest. Extend your right leg and bring your nose towards your knee. Feel the activation of your abdominal muscles and keep on breathing. Release, take your knee all the way over your body to the right into a twist. And inhale, come back to the center. Hug your knees into your chest and then roll over your spine. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Repeating that a couple of times. And then rolling yourself all the way up. And come to a tabletop position. And start to move your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Starting to move from the tailbone, letting it ripple throughout the whole spine to the neck. And then inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, nose to knee, knee to nose. Repeat. And then keep extending your right leg back, reach your left arm forward, create length. Take deep breaths, exhale, take your right foot if possible, otherwise just stay in the last posture. Exhale, release. Extend your left leg, exhale, nose to knee, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, exhale, extend, exhale, extend again and then keep it there. 
lengthen through the right arm, keep on breathing, either stay in that position or if possible grab your left foot and press your left foot into your hand, exhale release, tuck your toes under, bring your sitting bones to your heels, And then lift up your hips in downward facing dog. You'll be bending one knee, bending the other knee. Taking your time to warm up the legs. Relax your neck. And lift up your hips high. Inhale, come forward into a high plank position. Keep on breathing. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up high, extend your spine. The inhale, come forward into a high plank position. Gaze to a point somewhere in front of you on the floor. Keep on breathing. And then take the outside of your left foot onto the mat, right foot in front of you. Extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, turn back to the center. And go to the other side, outside of your right foot onto the mat, left foot in front of you. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Take deep breaths. And exhale, turn back to the center, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank position. And bring your knees to the mat, your chest and your chin down. Keep lifting up your sitting bones to the ceiling. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift up your upper body in cobra. And then push yourself further, tuck your toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Take deep breaths here. And then step your right foot forward, left knee to the mat. Hold your left foot with your right hand and open your chest. Look up towards the ceiling. Find a nice stretch in the left thigh, the left hip. Exhale, release. And step your right foot back in downward facing dog. And then step your left foot forward. Hold your right foot if possible. So holding the right foot with the left hand, opening the chest, Finding a stretch in the right hip. And maybe looking up towards the ceiling. And turning back to the center, step the left foot back downward facing dog. Take deep breaths here. Inhale, come to a high plank position. Then take your knees down, chest and chin down to the mat. Lift up your sitting bones high. Bring your shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up your upper body in cobra pose. Elbows close to the body. And then push yourself further, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog.
Step your right foot forward, left knee to the mat. And then lift up your left leg as high as you can. Relax your upper body down, relax your neck. Maybe bend your standing knee if you need to do this to be able to touch the floor. And then lift up your upper body. Bring your upper body and left leg parallel to the floor. Hands in prayer position in front of your chest. Extend through the heel and through the crown of the head. Take deep breaths. Exhale, release the upper body down. Lift your left leg higher and maybe hold the right ankle with one hand or two hands, finding your balance. Now release, tip your left foot back, right foot back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the mat, chest and chin down. Lift up your hips high. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up your upper body in cobra. And push yourself further. Exhale, downward facing dog. And step your left foot forward, right knee to the mat, extend through your spine. And take all your weight to your left foot, lift your right leg up, high to the ceiling. Relax your upper body down, relax your neck. Inhale, lift up your upper body. Leg and upper body parallel to the floor. Take deep breaths. Really activate your standing leg. And exhale, let your upper body sink down again. Lift your right leg higher and maybe hold your ankle with one hand or with two hands, finding your balance. And then exhale, release, step both feet back into downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows into the side ribs. And come down onto the mat. Inhale, Cobra. And push yourself further into Downward Facing Dog. Then come into a side plank position with the outer edge of your left foot onto the mat, right foot on top of it, reach through your right arm as high as you can and if possible lift up your right leg. Exhale down, back to the center. I'm going to the other side, outer edge of your right foot onto the mat, left foot on top of it, reach your left arm up to the ceiling and if possible lift your left leg up as well. Exhale, come back to the center and into downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, hovering above the floor. And release. Come to lie onto the mat. Arms alongside your body. Then activate your legs, interlace your fingers behind your back, reach your knuckles towards your heels, inhale, come up with your upper body and lift up your legs. Feel the activation of the back side of your body, take deep breaths, exhale, release, lie onto your left cheek, let your whole body relax. And then come back to the center, activate your legs. This time reach your arms forward, lift up your upper body, lift up your legs, take deep breaths. Exhale, release. 
lie onto your right cheek. Let your whole body relax. And turn back to the center. Push yourself all the way up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward. And come to sit onto the mat. Lengthen the spine and lift up your legs. Hold the backs of the knees. Stay here. Take deep breaths. Exhale, place the soles of the feet down, relax your upper body onto your legs. And inhale, come back up. Choose the first variation, holding the backs of the knees, or extend your arms forward through the fingertips. Navasana, boat pose. Take deep breaths. Exhale, release, take a short rest. We'll do the same posture one last time. You can choose the first variation, holding the backs of the knees. Second variation, extending the arms forward. Or third variation, lengthening the legs, straightening the knees. Feel the activation of your abdominal muscles. Relax the facial muscles. And exhale, release. Place your hands behind you on the mat. Inhale, lift up your hips. Let your head drop back. With every inhalation, lift the hips a bit higher. Lift the chest a bit higher. Exhale, release. And straighten your right leg, left foot onto the mat. Inhale, lift up your hips. Open the chest. Extend your left arm over your head. Exhale, come back to the center, going to the other side, extend your left leg, place the right foot onto the mat, inhale, lift up your hips, extend your right arm over your head, exhale, release. And cross your ankles. And roll over your knees. Coming to sit onto the heels. And place the elbows together. Wrists together. And the fingers pointing outward. Place the hands onto the mat. So your upper body is resting onto the elbows. Extend your legs and reach through the crown of the head. Now you can also place the crown of the head or the forehead onto the mat. So you have a little bit more stability. But if possible, extend through the crown of the head. And exhale, release. Sit onto your heels for a little bit. And then either repeat the same posture that we just did, or if you want to take it a little bit further, and you place your hands onto the mat, elbows together, and then bring your knees close towards you, lifting up the legs, and maybe placing the chin onto the mat, lifting the legs up high towards the ceiling. Take deep breaths. Exhale, release. And take your sitting bones to your heels for a little rest. You can keep your toes tucked under for a nice toe stretch. And then repeat one last time. First variation, second variation, or this third variation, in which you lift up the right leg. And then you lift up the left leg. So this would be an intermediate version. 
between the first one and the second one in which you lift up both legs. And bring your sitting bones to your heels, come into a child's pose, resting the forehead onto the mat, extending the arms forward. Take a moment to completely relax your body. Focus on your breath. And then come up. And come to lie onto the mat. With the heels close towards the sitting bones. You can still touch your heels with your fingertips. And start to press the feet down as you lift up your hips. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Wiggle your shoulders a bit closer towards each other. And then press the arms down as you lift the hips up higher. Release the hands. Exhale slowly, vertebra by vertebra, bring your back down to the mat. Take a moment of rest here. Repeat this posture. Inhale, lift up your hips, interlace your fingers behind your back. Pressing the arms down with each inhalation, lift your hips a bit higher, lift your chest a bit higher. Exhale, release, vertebra by vertebra, rolling yourself back to the mat. We'll be doing this posture one last time. Either do the same posture if you want to take it a little bit further. Then you can lift up your hips and you place your hands next to your shoulders with the fingers pointing towards your shoulders. And lifting up your whole body into Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward bow pose, extending through the arms, extending through the legs. Exhale, slowly releasing the pose, coming back to the mat. And then make your way to the wall. Just make sure you have a nice wall that you can use. Bring your hips close to the wall and let your legs rest in a very simple and relaxing inversion. Place the soles of the feet against the wall and lift up your hips into a supported shoulder stand, placing your hands alongside the spine, the elbows resting onto the mat, and create length throughout your spine. Make sure you keep your head in the center. Exhale slowly, roll your spine down. Take a moment of rest. And then place the soles of the feet against the wall again. Lift up your hips. Support your spine with your hands. Maybe walk your elbows a bit closer together. And then take your right leg over your head towards the floor. 
Just let it bounce a bit there. Take your left leg over your head towards the floor. Let it bounce. Right leg again. And left leg again. And take both legs down over your head. Maybe your toes can touch the floor. If they're not touching the floor, then just keep on supporting your spine. If they do touch the floor, then you can interlace your fingers behind your back, pressing the arms down into the mat. And place your hands against your spine again. Inhale, lift up your legs. Place the feet back against the wall. And exhale, slowly roll your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, until the hips are touching the mat again. Take a moment to relax there. And then roll yourself out of the posture. And push yourself back up. To a seated position. Come to sit in a simple cross-legged position or in a half lotus or in a full lotus if you like. And close your eyes, rest your hands into your knees. Take a moment to observe the effect of the practice. Be aware of the sensations in your body. Be aware of your breath. And with every exhalation, allow your sitting bones to sink a bit deeper into the mat. With every inhalation, let your crown of your head extend a bit more towards the ceiling. If there is any tension left in your body, maybe you can let go of this tension. 